And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you about how vitamin C supports muscle vitality, especially as we get older. So vitamin C is an essential cofactor in the production of collagen, and one essential role of vitamin C is that it's necessary for the proper cross-linking of collagen molecules. Vitamin C is required for keeping collagen strong and elastic. Collagen is the most common protein in the body, and it's the glue that holds together many organs, including the skin, arteries, bones, and joints. A deficiency in vitamin C leads to degradation of collagen throughout the body, and without vitamin C for several weeks, of course, scurvy will develop. With a deficiency of vitamin C, the tendons, ligaments, and cartilage of joints get weak, and also the arteries and skin begin to break because they're dependent on collagen for their strength. With more severe deficiency, bruising and bleeding occurs very frequently and eventually leads to death. The maintenance and repair of these tissues with new collagen requires vitamin C at several stages. Without vitamin C, the collagen fibers lack cross-links, which leaves it weak and prone to breakage. The molecules of vitamin C are oxidized by their role in collagen synthesis, so a continuous supply of renewed vitamin C is necessary to keep the body healthy and strong. Vitamin C is also essential for the synthesis of carnitine, an amino acid involved in providing energy for muscles and also for a healthy immune system. And as we know, also vitamin C is essential for bone and joint health and preserving the strength of collagen in the cartilage, maintaining the tendons and ligaments, adding new calcium into bone, and also for the reabsorption and removal of calcium. Vitamin C is also essential to prevent oxidative stress in the joints, which can otherwise lead to osteoarthritis. All of these things have an enormous effect on muscle vitality throughout the body, and this certainly includes the most important muscle in the body, the heart. Every doctor in the world knows very well that vitamin C supports every single facet of the cardiovascular system. And specific to muscle vitality and the heart, in the blood vessels of those who don't exercise, there's an increased activity of the protein endothelin-1, which makes it much more likely that the blood vessels will constrict. And, of course, this vasoconstriction over time increases the risk of developing heart disease. Vitamin C can significantly decrease endothelin-1-related vasoconstriction nearly as much as exercise can. And while you should never think of vitamin C as a replacement for exercise, it is nonetheless something to think about if you're someone who can't exercise every day because of injury or physical limitations. Losing muscle mass due to aging and physical inactivity over time is known as sarcopenia, and one contributor to sarcopenia is inflammation and oxidative stress. As our cells age, which include muscle cells, they enter a state called cellular senescence, and older muscles typically have more cells in this state of cellular senescence. So you can think of this as like the cell's old age. And when cells are in this state, they produce more inflammatory cytokines that spur low-grade inflammation, oxidative stress, and tissue damage. And so looking at it this way, it's easy to see how this could accelerate the aging and deterioration of our muscle tissue. So again, vitamin C is an antioxidant that counters oxidative stress. And also, vitamin C helps to recycle another antioxidant vitamin we need every day, which is vitamin E. And again, vitamin C's critical synthesizing of collagen definitely plays a role here. So because vitamin C helps to reduce oxidative stress, if you're taking a decent amount of vitamin C every day as you grow older, this intake can consequently reduce the inflammation and oxidative stress related to sarcopenia. And this in turn would slow muscle degradation. So how much vitamin C should you be taking every day? As we know, vitamin C is water-soluble and it's used up extremely quickly in the body especially if we're under any kind of stress. So I think the best way to do it is to take a dose of 1,000 to 3,000 milligrams about once every hour. This would be a decently high enough dose to provide some measurable benefit for not just the muscles, but also the adrenal glands and, of course, the immune system. So I hope for today, guys, this shows you 
possibly a side of vitamin C that you didn't know about and also gives you another reason to take this critical nutrient that is one of the best healing agents available, especially if you're older. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy. Thank <laughs> you.